Thank you for joining me today. I'm Joanna McGrath and I'm joined today with Erica Hess, who's the student coordinator of the Highlands Project and one of its staff members, Christina Profit. Uh, the Highlands Project is an after school project here on um, Emory Henry's campus for kids uh, grades three to eight. Thank you all for joining me today. Yeah. Um, what is the Highlands Project? Can you explain just kind of the basics of what it is and what it does? Okay, um, the Highlands Project is an after school program, like you already said, third through eighth grade. And what we're trying to get at is it's place-based education. And within this, they have a schedule that they go through. But with the place-based education, we try to use what, like the community around them to learn. Um, like, for instance, if they're learning about the environment, we're going to talk about a tree that's in the southwestern part of Virginia instead of talking about something somewhere else. So um, that's how it's structured and what we're trying to do with it. Okay. Um, the past couple of years, I don't know how long, we've had Afternoon Academy. What's the difference? Why has it changed? Okay, with Afternoon Academy, it wasn't based on place-based education. It was trying to help with the transition between 6th to 7th, basically, because they were transferring back from um, elementary to middle school, mm -hmm. and that was seen as a big part of it. Well, now we've broadened the horizons, basically, and where it's 3rd through 8th, we do the place-based education and we also instead of the staff before we had a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two and they had more of a not bond but they had more of who they have and now it's learning communities where you have five to six kids in it okay Christina where do the kids come from what schools are they coming from to come to this program? Um, they're coming from the surrounding elementary and middle school areas um, I know Meadowview and in Glade Springs. In Glade Springs and the, just the different areas around here, the local schools. Okay, and how long do they stay on campus? How long does the program last? About three hours. Okay. Um, does it cost money at all for the kids or the families who want to participate? It does not. Okay. Um, this place is called a learning community. What does that mean? Can you explain <laughs> what we're getting at? Um, <laughs> I heard that y'all have a learning community where each kid or each group of kids is paired with a mentor. What is you know, what is that saying right there? Um, well, with the mentor, usually the learning communities are within the same grade or the same teacher. Mm -hmm. And with that, they work on homework together, not necessarily all the time, but they work with that. And then they have an enrichment where they explore a topic of their choice and they learn together. It's not um, just focused on one child. It's focused as them as a group mm -hmm. where they work together. Okay. Um, what is the enrichment? What does that usually involve? Does it change daily or weekly? Uh, well, we have... Enrichment, the first part of the semester, the children picked what they wanted to have. And, I mean, we had certain ones about ice cream. How do you make ice cream? The history of ice cream. We had cookies, how to make cookies, um, the tradition of cookies. We have Halloween. We've had animals, um, just an array, just whatever they wanted to learn about. And what they did with that is they explored it, researched it, actually performed certain tasks about it. And now, actually, this week, they're doing presentations on it to the other learning communities. So. Oh, that sounds interesting. So what are they going to do next semester? What's going to be different? We have classes um, that are coming in from Emory, uh, learn, like the learning service, learning that they're doing. So they're going to come and teach them. I think there's a Spanish class and a mass calm class that's mm -hmm. coming, and they're going to do stuff with them. So That's incredible. Um, how do you become a mentor, Christina? Like, how, What's the application process and the qualifications? Okay, you do have to fill out an application. Um, that gives and you have to get, turn in a resume included with that so that they know do you have any experience with children have you done anything of any community based as well and then you also had to go through an interview process with Lisa Evans who is the head of Highlands Project and Le uh, <laughs> Erica as well so so anyone can become a mentor as long as they go through the application process mm -hmm. and be you know are approved. Mm -hmm. uh, do the volunteers get paid or what, what is it? Is it pay or do you get hours? Do you you get do not get physical paycheck but you can use it hour wise towards Bonners or um, AmeriCorps or any other service organization that you may be part of. Okay so Bonners and AmeriCorps mm -hmm. are, are projects here on campus that give scholarship mm -hmm. money for volunteer hours, is that mm -hmm. correct? Okay, what do the kids do all day? I mean, that's three hours that you have a bunch of kids running around. I mean, I know people on campus have seen them running around, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so what are they What are they doing? Well, um, we pick them up from the Merc, and from then we bring them back to the chapel, uh, have snack time, try to keep them down, you know, lower key, <laughs> get some of their energy out. Then they do homework time. Um, from homework time, we lead into enrichment time. Mm -hmm. 
and then they have game time and then departure time so we get them back home <laughs> <laughs> so you get them all riled up and you send them home, is that right? <laughs> all right. Um, what is the overall goal of this program? What What are you trying to do? Well, um, Lisa Evans born. Uh, she's the one who actually devised it, and with mm -hmm. her, like we said, the play space education. But with that, um, we're trying to get at that. No matter how old you are, no matter who you are, you are a citizen of this community, mm -hmm. and you should be treated as that. Mm -hmm. So, um, with the mentors, we during their interviews, we strive that it's not authoritative. They don't tell you tell the kids what to do. You talk to them where they know why you do it and how you do it, and I mean, you know, where they know that they're on the equal level with you. You're just older, and you're a mentor more than more so than a teacher mm -hmm. or a tutor. So, I mean, that's really what we're trying to get at. That's really awesome. All right, so recently you all were featured on WCYB for a little bit. It's not a controversy, but it's a little situation that you got yourselves into. Do you want to try and explain the situation? What exactly happened? I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> well, WCYB came because it was like the local chapter of um, the series, I guess, whatever they had going on. But um, just because they'd done things with the Afternoon, Afternoon Academy, and they do stuff with other colleges who have similar Mm -hmm. after like after school programs but um, with this we did our interview um, a couple weeks later we were contacted and um, social services says you have to have a license to have kids after um, after you have them for eight hours well our clinch group we have them Monday through Thursday or we used to did so with that it's considered child care instead of an after school program so we cut it back now they go from Monday to Wednesday, and technically that's only six hours because we count them for two hours here. Because after, by the time they get here at 3:30, they leave by 5:30. Okay. So I mean that's how we kind of avoided that obstacle. So you're just not licensed to have childcare, and that's the only reason you had to cut back. There's no other big problems. I mean, right, right now the program's small, so uh -huh. we don't have the money or the means to get a license. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean that's just one thing we had to do because I mean it's the first year, and there's always room to grow. So that's Definitely. something that. They're going to be looking into. That's definitely understandable, and I, I hope that y'all figure all that out, and I hope the program grows. 